This is the budget Warm Audio WA47 Junior, and this is the ProTube WA47. If I had to make you choose between the two, 99% would probably pick the Pro WA47. But what if we added a classic preamp to the signal chain of the budget WA47 Junior? Do you think the WA47 would still sound better? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're going to be doing a microphone test I've wanted to do for a very long time. For this video, we're going to be comparing a Warm Audio WA47 Junior with a WA273 Mic Pre versus the Warm Audio WA47 Tube microphone. Sweetwater did send me this two channel microphone to make this video for you guys. So just a reminder, if you're interested in any of the products you see in today's video or any studio gear you wanna get for your home studio, I will leave some links down in the description below. And speaking of gear, I also found a one channel mic pre version on Sweetwater that when added with the WA47 Junior, costs exactly the same as the Pro WA47. So this comparison is going to be super interesting. To start things off, let's have a look at our budget microphone and see what it sounds like before and after adding the external preamp. Your mouth is a revolver, flying bullets in the sky mm -hmm. Your love is like a soldier, Lord, till you die mm -hmm. And I've been looking at the stars for a long, long time I've been putting out fires all my life Everybody wants a flame, they don't want to get burned Oh, two days I'll turn Days like this, little Nights like this, little Love like ours You light the spark in our bonfires People like us, we don't Need that much Just someone, someone that starts Starts to spark in our bonfires. Yeah. So, firstly, the added preamp definitely makes a big difference. I've never personally used a preamp on my vocal recordings. I usually just plug in my microphone straight into my audio interface and use the preamps in my audio interface. But having an additional unit and an external preamp with a microphone like this just shows you how you take the quality, the crispiness and the harshness of a budget microphone and add a little bit more warmth and fullness and definitely make the microphone sound a lot better. The question now though is how good does this budget microphone sound with an external preamp versus a pro tube microphone like the WA47? I was distracted and in traffic I didn't feel it when the earthquake happened But it really got me thinking Were you out drinking? Were you in the living room chilling watching television? It's been a year now Guess I figured out how How to let you go and let communication die out I know, you know, you know We weren't down for forever and it's fine I know, you know, you know, we weren't meant for each other and it's fine Cause if the war was ending, you'd come over, right? You'd come over and you'd stay the night Would you love me for the hell of it? All our dreams would be irrelevant If the war was ending, you'd come over, right? Sky'd be falling and I'd hold you tight And there wouldn't be a reason why we would even have to say goodbye If the world was ending, you'd come over, right? Right If the world was ending, you'd come over, right? Right Now, for the final take on whether or not you should buy a Pro Tube microphone or rather just split the money and get a budget microphone with a quality external preamp Honestly, with this comparison, I have to say the sound quality differences were pretty minimal. 
I do think that the WA47 overall still sounded a touch warmer, a touch fuller and just a little bit better. But I think if you increase the quality of the microphone that you use with a preamp like the WA273, you're definitely going to get a better sound than the WA47. At the moment, the $300 WA47 Junior with this mic pre is just not good enough to beat the WA47 on its own. But if you went for something like a Neumann TL M102, Lewitt LCT 540S, even a warm audio WA87 R2, these microphones with an external preamp is definitely going to blow the WA47 out of the water. The question is, what if we added the WA47 to a microphone preamp like this. That's definitely gonna be a whole nother level.